Hey everyone, I wanted to do the next part of my coloring book collection because we still got quite a ways to go. Um, this shelf should be all of my Creative Haven books that are not on one of my seasons, quote unquote, shelves. I have three shelves that are um, kind of holiday related. I have a Christmas winter shelf, I have a Halloween autumn shelf, and I have a Valentine's Day Easter I think I put St. Patrick's Day in there, but I can't remember. Um, shelf. And then other than that, I have two color by number shelves and then everything else is just kind of categorized. Like I kind of put all the fantasy together. And then this should be like animals and creative haven books that aren't a season. So animals, cool things, things that don't fit into any other category. So that being said, let me, I will have to move fast because this is a huge stack. Um, the Best of C.L. Aldridge, Mandalas, a coloring book of fan favorite designs. I do love C.L. Aldridge. Her work is beautiful. Um, and I did, this, uh, this is one of the first books that I had. Um, so I colored this. It was really when I didn't have any experience with markers, so I was playing around. I did that. I did that. I really kind of messed up on this one, but I really like that one. I started that one and never got back to it. Um, but it's a bunch of mandalas. If you've never seen it before. Uh... It's Amazon printed. Oh, I guess I have another one here. Ooh, that one came out really pretty too. I like that. Let's see my daughter pages that get left in here. So, um, oh, and if you see any books that you want to flip through of uh, in my stack, please let me know. I would be happy to do that for you. So, as per usual, I'm doing the odd shaped books first. Um, Zen Doodle Color Escapes. Uh, I actually bought this from Book Outlet, but it was apparently at Walmart. So this is by Deborah Muller. I haven't had this much long. I think I haven't had this much long. I haven't had this very long, and apparently I can't talk. Um, I think I got it in June, so, but, um, so I haven't done anything in it. Um, but I was just, I, I love ocean stuff. Mermaids and it's fun to color, you know. So since this was a book outlet, you know, I thought I would give it a try. It's got some of her mermaids in it. It's very cool. I like these color escapes books. They're a neat shape and size. And, um, next, there's a series of books um, by a woman called, what's her name? Ellen, no. Ellen? Ellen Jarecki. Oh, and by Ellen Jarecki and Nicole Percy. But um, I guess there's a book called um, Fairy Mice something. Uh, Ellen was born in Bennington, Vermont, 1959. Um, da -da -da -da. Where is it? Oh, House Mouse. That's it. That's what I couldn't remember. Um, so I think I don't have them all. I don't have the bears. She has the mice and, um, hmm. Oh, and 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 she's got a bear's book and a and a bunny book. So I have the mice. So we'll do those. <clears throat> I just wanted to show them to y'all together so you can see. And they're they're thin and small, smaller. These are like I have so many different rulers. Um, ten. 8 by 10. 
so they're you know a little bit shorter and a little bit and I love it I love this size this size is so cool so there's volume one a very mice coloring book summertime with the house mouse family and this is adorable um, I should probably do flips of these because I don't see them much but they were out, they've been out for a long time like this one I don't know when this one it says 1980 to 2012 but I think that's when she's published the house mouse so I don't know when the coloring book came out but it's, it's been out for a while so they're kind of grayscale images and they're simple and adorable and I love them they're just and um, I'll show you in a second she tells you who all the mice are aren't they adorable So on the back, she tells you like the names of all the mice, Monica and Muzzy and Maxwell, Mulf, Mud Pie and Amanda. And um, oh, I love them, they're so cute. And here's volume two, uh, Very Mice Coloring Book, volume two, uh, Frolicsome Fall with the House Mouse Family. Well, this one I actually started. I, uh -uh. <clears throat> I guess I did finish this. Um, it was really easy. I just did it in pencil. I think I did it in polychromos. Um, I was thinking about doing some kind of a background, like just right here. But um, I have to stop spending so much time. Like I said, maybe I'll do flips of these, or if y'all want me to do flips of them, I would be happy to. God, they're just adorable. I gotta stop saying that. Then, volume three, late winter and early spring days with the house mouse family. I need to collect the ones that I don't have. I know I haven't done anything in this one. to the guinea pig and then I have happy hoppers volume one like I said I think the only one I don't have is the bears there's bears which maybe I'll just add that to my I'm gonna get some books for Halloween don't ask me what bears have to do with Halloween but aren't they cute anyway those are adorable books. Okay, next, full-size books. Um, I just got this oh, this month um, in August 2021. 100, uh, 100 Easy Designs by Coloring Book Cafe. Uh, there's a ton of flips on here. I just really liked all the images. Easy, fun designs. I have one I'm working on and one that I did in all pastels, which was fun. And then I have uh, Minka's Journey, which I ran across on Amazon. Um, it's a story about a cat named Minka and his journey. And I started coloring it and I need to continue. It's a single-sided book with double state page spreads, um, but it kind of chronicles, I should do a flip of this book, the cat's journey over a day, or I can't, can't remember. But I had like a plan, I was gonna color this like my cat Domino going on an adventure. <laughs> it's a really cute book. Um, cause my domino is a tuxedo, so I thought that would be fun. 
Um, let's see. Then I have 50 Summer Miniatures by Camellia Angel Cova. I have a lot of Camellia Angel Cova books. Um, um, I bet you I have one I haven't finished, maybe. Um, I did this page. I did this page. Uh, I haven't finished that, apparently, because I lost my mojo with the dog. And I have to figure out... I wasn't using a... I left my blotter page out, so I got stuff on here, and so I have a plan to kind of fix that. Um, it's a really cute book. Tons of flips on this. Actually, Camellia Angel Kova has her own channel on YouTube where she does flips of her books. Um, so there you go. 50 Ocean Miniatures by Camellia Angel Kova. I'm in the process of doing the sunken treasures tag in here and I uh, haven't gotten a ton done because you can see by all my little page markers I marked all the oh I had a marker I have a bad habit of holding my markers in my hands and I laid my marker down or something and it got on all my pages right there but I decided I wasn't going to let it bother me. Cute book. 50 Summertime Mandalas. Which did not come out good. That was like marker and gel pen. Is all that is. I love how that came out. Uh, seashells are hard for me. So I started doing this. Excuse me. My nose is just... Um, and it kind of, I don't know, I lost my mojo with that. Um, I did this, like the cover page, sort of. I started this one, I haven't finished it. I just started it well, a couple weeks ago. So it's summertime, mandalas. I love her mandalas. Because... I'm not like a traditional mandala person. That's why I like her work. Um, Gnome Sweet Gnome by Sassy Coloring. This is Sassy Coloring's books are huge. I love it. So it's uh, gnomes, lots of gnomes. Reminds me of uh, the gnomes. Some of them remind me of the gnomes in uh, Gnomeo and Juliet. Which is a great movie if you've never seen it. That's Gnome Sweet Gnome. Uh, then I have Woodland Wonder by Jen Racine. And I there's double images in this book. And I was watching Danny Buttons and she did a challenge. That I was going to do in this book all the time. Where... I was doing the first image normal colors, and then I'll color the second image crazy colors. <laughs> but, um, it's a bunch of, uh, um, what are they called? Scandinavian style. I love it. This is what, like, I want this book, but this book is no longer in print on Amazon. Her unicorn book, um, which kind of makes me sad. I may get the llama book. She's got a llama book. I definitely want the jackalope book. <laughs> yeah. So there's that one. I love gnomes, so I have garden gnomes. I think I did... I was doing the same thing in this one, sort of. Um, actually, I was going to do one in marker and one in pencil, and then I didn't... I didn't like the pencils I was using. I don't remember what I was using on this one. But I did the first page. But like I said, it's double images. I love the gnomes. The gnomes are so cute. Then I have National Parks by Jen Racine. The gnomes was Jen Racine, too. Um, two sets, animals, wildflowers, and landmarks. Um, 
Zion, which I have been to and is amazing. I hiked Angel's Landing. I may have to color that one soon. It's in uh, Utah. Yosemite. Um, so this is all the, I guess it's double images. Yeah. Zion would be the last one. So I haven't done anything in here. I know she has a Canada National Park. I think she has a Canada one also. United States of America. So it's all the states. Um, love it. I can't wait to start doing these. Um, oh, here's all of her books. She has, she has a Canada, well, it's not here. She's got the United States of America and then she's got Canada, all the Canada provinces and Coloring My Way um, is doing that one. She, she has that book and I love the images that she does. Whimsical World Big Book Coloring Book, 100 Illustrations to Color by Molly Harrison. This is a collection from Whimsical World, Whimsical World 2, Whimsical World 3, Whimsical World 4, and Whimsical Spring. And I, um, I did, did this page and I put like all kinds of glossy accents on it. like a hundred images. A lot of pictures in this book. But um, it's great if you're starting out <laughs> late with Molly Harrison and you don't have any of her books. I must have tagged that thing to do. Tagged a picture in here to work on for some reason. There's that one. I got uh, Easy Coloring Book for Adults by Dina Stone. It's uh, these look like Scandinavian style images. Simple. I did that one. Just pull out some colors and go to town. Then I have um, the Beginner's Collection, which is 200 easy coloring pages, <laughs> and I love their collection books, but for some reason this one curled like crazy, and I've never been able to, like, no matter what I put it under, it has never um, uncurled, and it's a huge book, and I kind of use it as a tester book. To do things in like I was doing different pencils here um but you know if I just want to color something or color it um like it's there easy animals and um huge uh, flowers And then mandalas, like the easy mandalas, and then um, the swirls, the simple swirls, but it's like those four books combined. I don't think, does it tell you? Nope. Well, oh yeah. Animals for beginners, flowers for beginners, mandalas for beginners, and squirrels for beginners. Those are the four books that are in here. <clears throat> so that's why it's 200 pages. I like their collection books, but um, I don't. It really frustrated me that that one curled like it did. I missed a book um, that is a weird size. So this is a smaller book. Um, I Heart Flamingos. Sterling Children's Books. It's very difficult to find flamingo books. And the thing that disappoints me about flamingo books, coloring books, is that they're all zendoodly. Um, but 
That being said, lots of flamingos. I haven't done any in them this summer. I wanted to. But, <clears throat> really cute book. Um, there's a couple I got from uh, Dollar Tree. I got etchings, which there's some really pretty images in here. I really, really like those. It's a Benden book. Advanced coloring etchings, vintage style illustrations. And then Color the Seasons Advanced Coloring Book by Benden. I got this one from Dollar Tree. And it's just, I really like their little grayscale. It's, uh, these images were fun. It's got a bunch of different seasons in it. Then I have Cool Cats from Dover Spark, which Dover Spark books are great. Noelle Dalen. Um, this is just bunch of cats. The Spark series is a um, children's series. I did one in here. I just did this one. <laughs> with, uh, it was a buddy color with uh, Spicy Kathy from Spicy Cat Colors. Oh, 50 Jungle Miniatures. My Camellia books are all uh, spread out. So, Camellia Angel Cova, 50 Jungle Miniatures. This one just came out this summer, and it's been a big hit. Cat Doodles Cuteness Overload, illustrated by Ronnie C. Poise. Poise? Um, it's a bunch of cats. Cats everywhere. Cats. Lots of cats. We love it. They have a bunch of books, too. Um, like, tons of books. I have this one. Um, this one, the Dinomon is a doodle one. There's some Alice in Wonderland ones. Magical Owls. Island Dreams. I was looking at some of them the other day. They were really cute. Halloween Doodle Magic, that one may end up in my cart. And though I don't like doodles, I really like these. Alright, so then from here on out, it's Creative Haven. So, um, Animal Woodcut Designs, Deluxe Edition by Tim Foley. Um, they're kind of grayscale pictures, which I haven't colored anything in this book. I haven't had it, I just got it this summer, and I haven't had time to color in it, but the images are beautiful colored. Um, Dover coloring book, State Birds and Wildfire, or Wildfires, Wildflowers, or Flowers, State Birds and Flowers coloring book. Um, these are all the pictures colored in. There's some on the back. It's a double-sided book because all the Dover, all these small Dover books are. They're cheap. Um, I haven't done anything in this one. I've had this one for a while. Oh, there's more. But I thought that would be fun. Wish You Were Here, which is a new one this summer. It just came out. Mm. Cool images. Summer Scenes by Teresa Goodrich. Which, wish you were here, is Teresa Goodrich also. Um, summer Scenes, I did uh, Corey from Coloring Up. Colorfully Optimistic did this um, as like a color along with ink tints and an alcohol marker blender and it came out really good. So, Summer Scenes, Blissful Nature by Jessica Mazurkowitz. Uh, Wallpapery kind of pages, fun. 
one. Fanciful Sea Life by Marjorie Sarnett. I know most of these I haven't done anything in, so. Which I have been collecting more and more Marjorie Sarnett books. And it's funny because I don't. Mm, but I like it. It's weird. I just got to be brave to color it. Here's another one by Marjorie Sarnett, Love. Which I had to get as soon as I saw it. I couldn't wait for it to come out. Cute, cute images. I think I do have a flip of this one. Magnificent Mermaids by Marjorie Sarnett. Mermaid pictures. Lots of mermaids. I must have been going to color that one for some reason. Uh, Angels. I've had this one for a long time. I got it on clearance somewhere. Marjorie Sarnut. Because at the time I didn't have any people books. And I'm like, ooh, if I want to practice coloring people, why not? Birds and Blossoms by Marjorie Sarnat. <laughs> For someone who doesn't like this kind of, I have a lot of these because I think the images are gorgeous and I'm too afraid to color them. <laughs> Creative Cats, which doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, Marjorie Sarnat. Like, I know that's Marjorie. Um, I don't have creative kittens, and I've been debating on whether to get it. I love it. It's cute. I just want to do it like this, but this is not how my brain works. And I want my brain to do stuff like this. Starry Skies by Angela Porter. Which I just fell in love with the images in here. I thought it would be so fun to do sparkly and gel painting and stuff. Uh, Cheerful Inspirations by Teresa Goodrich. I don't do a lot of words. I'm not really a person who likes to color words, but um, I loved really really loved this so I picked it up this just came out this summer too um, then Animal Mosaics by Jessica Mazurkowitz it's like Animal Mosaic patterns I did this one I started this one and I was I was in Michigan when I started it and I can't remember why. Oh, my pencil sharpener didn't sharpen my brute. I had my brute pruner squares and I was going to use them in that picture, and the sharpener I brought didn't sharpen them. <laughs> um, that was fun. So, uh, Creative Haven has a uh, midnight background series, which I have three of the four. This one's called Midnight Forest. So they all have black backgrounds. I think I'm gonna have a avalanche here of books. Uh, sea Life Wonders. Y'all are probably wondering why I have all these books and I'm coloring them. And then a Midnight Garden. Which I did start one in here. Where is it? I don't know why I fin didn't finish it. But I know I started one in here. It's in the back.
chances are. Hmm. And I was doing it in past... Oh, no, it's not this book. There's another one that I have that's, um, it's in the, it's in the Valentine's Day section. I forget what it's called. But anyway, you'll see it later. Uh, Country Gardens by Teresa Goodrich. Oh, who are all these illustrated by? Did it say Lindsay? This one's Lindsay Boylan. Lindsay Boylan, okay. So, Lindsay Boylan did all the all of the um, black background ones. I'm sorry about that. Uh, Teresa Goodrich did Country Gardens. Which is beautiful. I went through and started collecting all these. Winter. Um, Fantastical Dragons by Erin Pocock. Another dragon book. I haven't colored in. <laughs> Beautiful Language of Flowers by John Green. Beautiful, beautiful flower images. Vintage seed packets. I have also had this one for a very long time. Uh, I still haven't finished this one. But it's uh, seed packet covers. Art Nouveau Animal Designs, which I got this book because um, somebody, I think it was uh, Elena, Coloring with Elena, was doing one of the pictures and I wanted to do it, and this is by Marty Noble, um, and I haven't done it yet, uh, Whimsical Garden by... Bye bye bye. I think this one is Teresa, but I'm not sure. Oh, Alexander Cowell. That's right. It's uh, garden sheds. Cool. Bible Blessings by Jessica Mazurkowitz, which. It just, I loved the images that were with the sayings in this one. That one's pretty new. Uh, Nature Escapes by Patricia Wynn. Nature Escapes, not Nature Escapes. Beautiful images. Uh, and then last but not least, Enchanting Entangled Art. I got this one at Walmart because they'll often have collections. Um, and it's Angela Porter and it's several books put together. Designs within the book offered. 95 unique illustrations. But I, oh, here. Uh, Enchanting Entangled Art 2020. It's Entangled Butterflies Coloring Book. Eerie Entangled Art Coloring Book. Uh, Entangled Landscapes Coloring Book. And Two Plates from Entangled Forest. So. And at the time, I wanted the Eerie Entangled Art, so I, um, I got this one. And that's my collection on that shelf. <laughs> so we will come back with another shelf soon. Thank you for watching, and have a great day. Bye.